Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away. We'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs, families and friends rest in peace. Before we start, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Nadia Katus was a British actress, singer, and folk musician, renowned for her contributions to theater, television, and music. Born on November 2, 1924, she moved to England, where she became a pioneering presence in British entertainment, especially for people of Caribbean descent. Katus's acting career began in the 1960s, and she made significant strides on British television with roles in popular shows like Danger Man and Softly, Softly. She was also part of the groundbreaking series Play for Today, which addressed social and racial issues of the time. Beyond acting, Katus was celebrated for her music, particularly in the British folk scene. Known for her soulful voice and poignant lyrics, she released songs like Long Time Boy and All Around My Grandmother's Floor which resonated deeply with audiences. Her work often reflected her Caribbean heritage and experiences. Nadia Katus passed away in London on 29 October 2024 at the age of 99. She is remembered as a trailblazer whose artistic contributions helped pave the way for future generations, leaving an indelible mark on British arts and culture. Suzanne Austin was a renowned Swedish film director playwright and screenwriter, celebrated for her pioneering work in Scandinavian cinema and theater. Born on June 20, 1944, in Stockholm, Sweden, she emerged as a leading figure in the 1970s, focusing on social and political themes that challenged traditional norms. Austin became known for her commitment to exploring complex issues, such as family dynamics, mental health, and feminism particularly through her work in children's and young adult theater. Her films, including The Guardian Angel, 1990, and Speak Up, It's So Dark, 1993, were known for their psychological depth and advocacy for underrepresented voices. Austin also founded the acclaimed Unga Clara, Sweden's first state-supported children's theater, which became an influential platform for groundbreaking work aimed at young audiences. Suzanne Austin passed away on 29th October 2024 at the age of 80. She had undergone heart surgery before her death. Her legacy endures through her transformative contributions to Swedish theater and cinema, where she championed storytelling that empowered and uplifted marginalized perspectives, inspiring future generations of filmmakers and artists. Terry Garr was a celebrated American actress known for her comedic roles and versatility across film and television. Born in Lakewood, Ohio, Garr began her career as a dancer, appearing in a series of Elvis Presley films in the 1960s. Her big break came with the role of Inga in Young Frankenstein, 1974, directed by Mel Brooks, where her comedic timing and charm made her a fan favorite. Gar's notable performances continued with Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, Oh God, 1977, and Tootsie, 1982, for which she earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Her warm, quirky screen presence made her a beloved figure in Hollywood, but in the late 1990s, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Despite this, Gar remained resilient, advocating for MS awareness and continuing to work in the industry, often guest starring on television. Terry Gar passed away from complications of multiple sclerosis at her home in Los Angeles on October 29, 2024, at the age of 79, leaving behind a legacy of humor, talent, and grace. She is remembered for her contributions to film and television, as well as her courageous advocacy for those with chronic illnesses. David Harris was an American actor best known for his role as Cochise in the cult classic film The Warriors, 
1979. Born on May 23, 1959, in New York City, Harris found early success in film and television. The Warriors, a gritty, action-packed film about street gangs in New York, earned him recognition with his portrayal of Cochise, leaving a lasting impression on fans of the genre. His tough but charismatic presence fit the film's intense style, and he became a memorable part of 1970s cinema. Harris continued to act throughout the 1980s and beyond, appearing in TV series like NYPD Blue, Law and & Order, and ER, where he showcased his versatile acting abilities. Though he primarily worked in supporting roles, his performances were noted for their authenticity and depth, resonating with audiences over the years. David Harris passed away from cancer at home in New York City on October 25, 2024, at the age of 75. Remembered for his compelling screen presence, he left an enduring legacy as a memorable figure in American film and television. Phil Lesh was an iconic American bassist and founding member of the Grateful Dead, known for his pioneering approach to rock and psychedelic music. Born on March 15, 1940, in Berkeley, California, Lesh began his musical journey studying classical trumpet before transitioning to bass guitar in 1964 when he joined the Grateful Dead. His experimental, jazz-influenced style transformed bass playing in rock, integrating melodic and improvisational elements that became a cornerstone of the band's sound. With the Grateful Dead, Lesh helped shape the counterculture movement of the 1960s and 70s, performing in legendary live shows and recording classic albums like American Beauty and Working Man's Dead. His deep-rooted influence extended beyond the Grateful Dead as he continued to perform with Phil Lesh and Friends, blending genres and collaborating with musicians from various backgrounds. Phil Lesh passed away on October 25, 2024, at the age of 84. Celebrated for his innovation and spirit, he left an enduring legacy in music, influencing generations of artists and fans who continue to celebrate his work and contributions to rock history. Michael Newman was an American actor best known for his role as a lifeguard on the hit television series, Baywatch. Born on April 6, 1957 in Los Angeles, California, Newman was a real life firefighter and lifeguard before joining Baywatch, bringing authenticity to his portrayal of the character, also named Michael Newman. His background added realism to the show, resonating with viewers and enhancing the program's appeal. Baywatch became a cultural phenomenon in the 1990s, and Newman, with his relatable on-screen persona, became a familiar face worldwide. Though acting wasn't his primary career path, Newman's role on Baywatch earned him a loyal fan base and recognition within the entertainment industry. After Baywatch, he largely returned to his life as a lifeguard and firefighter, remaining committed to public service and his community. Michael Newman passed away after a nearly two-decade battle with Parkinson's disease. He was 68. He is remembered fondly for his unique blend of real-life heroism and on-screen presence, leaving a lasting impact on fans of the iconic show. Ron Ely was an American actor and writer best known for his portrayal of Tarzan in the 1960s television series Tarzan. Born on June 21, 1938, in Hereford, Texas, Ely's tall athletic build and charisma made him the perfect choice for the role. The series ran from 1966 to 1968, with Ely performing his own stunts, which added a sense of adventure and realism that captivated audiences worldwide. His portrayal of the jungle hero became iconic, cementing him as one of the most memorable Tarzan actors in television history. After Tarzan, Ely appeared in various TV shows and movies, including Fantasy Island and The Love Boat, and even took on the role of Doc Savage in Doc Savage, The Man of Bronze, 1975. Later, he shifted his focus to writing, authoring two mystery novels, demonstrating his creative versatility beyond acting. 
Ron Ely passed away on September 29, 2024, at age 86. He is fondly remembered for his dynamic screen presence and contributions to classic adventure television, leaving a lasting legacy. Tom Jariel was a distinguished American television news reporter and anchor, best known for his work with ABC News. Born in LaGrange, Georgia, Jariel began his journalism career in local radio before joining ABC in the 1960s. Over his 40-year career with the network, he became a prominent face in American broadcast journalism, covering major stories with insight and dedication. Jariel gained recognition as an investigative reporter on 20 to 20, where his hard-hitting reports on corporate misconduct, consumer fraud, and political corruption earned respect from viewers and colleagues alike. His reporting on the Three Mile Island nuclear incident, among other major events, showcased his commitment to public accountability and safety. Jariel also anchored ABC's World News Tonight and contributed to groundbreaking segments that left a lasting impact on news broadcasting. Tom Jariel passed away from related complications at a care facility in Annapolis, Maryland, on October 24, 2024, at the age of 89, his legacy endures as a symbol of responsible journalism, inspiring future generations of reporters to pursue excellence and courage in their work. Barbara Rush was a distinguished American actress celebrated for her work in film, television, and theater. Born on January 4, 1927, in Denver, Colorado, Rush began her acting career in the early 1950s after graduating from the University of California, Santa Barbara. She gained attention for her performance in When Worlds Collide, 1951, and won a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer for It Came From Outer Space, 1953. Rush's striking presence and talent made her a leading lady in sci-fi, drama, and romance films, with memorable roles in Magnificent Obsession, 1954, and Bigger Than Life. 1956. In addition to film, Rush had a successful television career, appearing in series such as Peyton Place, Dynasty, and All My Children. She was known for her elegance, versatility, and ability to seamlessly transition between film and TV. Barbara Rush passed away on March 31, 2024, at the age of 97, due to complications from dementia. Her legacy endures as a talented actress who brought sophistication and depth to her roles, leaving a lasting impact on Hollywood and fans worldwide. Carl Weathers, an iconic American actor and former professional football player, was celebrated for his memorable roles in both sports and film. Born on January 14, 1948, in New Orleans, Louisiana, Weathers initially pursued a career in football playing as a linebacker for the Oakland Raiders and later for the BC Lions in Canada. After retiring from football, he shifted to acting and soon gained fame for his role as Apollo Creed in Rocky, 1976, where he portrayed the charismatic heavyweight champion with unmatched intensity and depth. His portrayal of Creed across the Rocky series remains one of cinema's most iconic characters. Weathers continued his acting success with roles in action films like Predator, 1987, alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, and in the comedy Happy Gilmore, 1996. He later found new audiences in television with roles in shows like Arrested Development and The Mandalorian, showcasing his versatility. Carl Weathers passed away at his home in Los Angeles on February 2, 2024, at age 76, from atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Remembered for his powerful screen presence and dedication, he leaves a legacy of unforgettable performances across multiple generations. Patty Yasutaka was an American actress best known for her role as Nurse Alyssa Ogawa on Star Trek The Next Generation and in several Star Trek films. Born on September 6, 1953, in Los Angeles, California, Yasutaki was of Japanese-American descent and brought representation to Asian-American actors in Hollywood. 
Her portrayal of Nurse Ogawa, a skilled and compassionate member of the USS Enterprise's medical team, resonated with fans, making her a beloved character in the Star Trek universe. Beyond Star Trek, Yasutaki appeared in various television series, including MacGyver, Chicago Hope, and ER, showcasing her versatility as a supporting actress. She was also active in stage productions and contributed to projects that highlighted Asian American stories, helping to elevate visibility for her community in the entertainment industry. Patty Yasutaki passed away of a rare form of T-cell lymphoma at the UCLA Santa Monica Medical Center on August 5, 2024, at the age of 70. She is remembered for her warmth, talent, and dedication to her craft, leaving a lasting impact on fans and paving the way for future generations of Asian American actors. Simon Cowell, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, has recently been the subject of false death rumors that have circulated online. These rumors, which have no basis in fact, have alarmed fans, but the music mogul is alive and continues to work on various television projects. Known for his blunt and sometimes controversial critiques, Cowell rose to fame as a judge on talent shows like American Idol, The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, and America's Got Talent. His straightforward feedback and high standards have become his signature style, earning him both admiration and criticism. Cowell's career began in the music industry, where he worked in the mailroom of EMI Music Publishing and eventually progressed to producing music and managing artists. His knack for identifying talent and producing hits led him to launch the X Factor and Got Talent franchises, two of the world's most successful reality competition formats. These shows not only discovered stars like Leona Lewis and One Direction, but also redefined talent shows globally. Despite occasional setbacks, including a serious e-bike accident in 2020, Cowell has remained resilient, continuing to appear on television and invest in new projects. His influence extends beyond TV, with his psycho entertainment company involved in various entertainment sectors. Cowell's contributions have left an indelible mark on the industry, and while recent rumors of his death have been proven false, his legacy as a game-changing producer and judge continues to grow. Fans eagerly await his next projects, 